All right, hello and welcome to the live stream. I am probably gonna be confused this whole stream because I switched my whole entire office around, like lights, everything are all moved. We're in a different side of the room. Everything just looks so different. So if you guys see me fumbling hard this stream, that's why everything's just, that might not be the only reason. I think I usually do that, but if it's like a little bit more fumbly, it's because everything is just kind of switched around now, and I think I love it. I haven't decided yet because everything's kind of mirrored to me now, but I think I like it. I'm on the other side of my office, and I want it to be next to the window before, maybe I can show you guys, um, before... I can't all the way, but there's a window right there, and I just wanted to be next to the window instead of over on the other side of the room. So I switched everything today, and hopefully I get used to it. It's weird for me having everything on this side. All right, I have quite a few things to show you guys today. If you were not on here at all yesterday, if you didn't see the live stream yesterday, it is the same products I showed you guys yesterday. They're on, some of them are on different sales right now. Um, we're gonna look at a lot of different stuff, like a whole mixture. I have some first aid kit favorites from Niceful, um, some ice pack stuff, heating pad stuff. We're gonna look at some baby products from Mom Cozy and um, Dream Egg. Yeah, that's the other brand, Dream Egg. And just some household favorites. I have a really good eyebrow brush or eyebrow pen up here. I'm going to show you guys the ice maker is 20% off right now. Dog vacuum is on a limited time deal. Just a whole lot of stuff that we're going to check out. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want me to skip forward to something, let me know in the chat. Or if you're here for something specific, let me know so you're not just waiting around for me to get to it. Especially if you found the live stream on the actual product page. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Michelle, I think, maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna go double check right now, but did you comment on a post in my deals? You did, yes, okay, I just looked and saw. Um, yay, I love that you're in the deals group. How long have you been in the deals group? Did you just did you just recently join? I was so happy when I saw that. I think it was yesterday or the day before, but I love that you're I <laughs> love that you're my online friend now. <laughs> um, the, I don't know if you've seen my live streams before other than the getting ready with me ones, but this is how they normally are. When I said during the um, beauty ones that I'm going to start doing those, it's because I've been live streaming. I live stream sponsored streams and show like a bunch of different brand stuff. A lot of it's stuff that I use in my house. A lot of it is stuff that isn't necessarily something that I use, so I'll show you guys just the details on it if it's something that you've been looking at but yeah I this is <laughs> how they usually go all right I am gonna show you guys first what should we look at first does anything pop out to anyone um mm, the IPL hair removal thing you bought two things from the deals group? I saw that. I saw it. Thank you for supporting my deals page. Um, I saw that though, and I love, I love when people tell me that. Not even like, because I'm like stoked about 13 cent commission. <laughs> it's because I just get so giddy when people get like a good deal on something. And sometimes I forget to post deals in there because I get so excited that I just go buy it myself and then just never return to post it in there. But I get so excited when people are like, I, I, I bought this from the deals group and I can't believe it was this price and it makes me so happy. A lot of my family members are in the group. So at like fa family gatherings, they'll tell me, Oh, do you like this shirt? I got it from a link you posted in the deals group. And man, does that ever put me on cloud nine. All right, I am gonna show you guys, there's quite a few things on here. Let's look at the Vlando jewelry, small jewelry holder. I actually did show this one in my getting ready with me stream. 47% off right now, it's $15.99. You can get this one in other colors too. I'm gonna pull it up on my end. 
I got a new keyboard, by the way. It finally showed up, you guys. I spilled, um, Michelle, I actually think I told you this. I spilled a whole thing of water on my keyboard, and so I had to order a new one. And isn't, isn't it cute? It's like, it's pink and white. It's a little bit, it's a little bit cheap. Like, I can, you hear that, like, rattling? But, um, it's cute, <laughs> and it, it does... It does the dang thing. It has a little sand on it, too. Um, yes, thank you. I love it, too. Oh, and I got the matching mouse, which I really, really love. Um, before this, I had just a white one. The lights are so bright up here that it looks just white right now, but it's, like, pale pink and white. And it's a really... I really like the way it feels. All right. The jewelry. <laughs> jewelry holder. This is what it looks like. So it just rolls on up like this has this cute little tassel right here. The one I have is in the gray color. So they're all different prices. This one is the least expensive. It is $15.99, 47% off right now, 4.7 out of five star rating, by the way. And this is how it works. You just roll it on out. I have some jewelry in here right now. I actually, I always forget my jewelry in here, so whenever I can't find things, I'm like, oh, I bet it's in that container. Yeah. Pink on the inside, though. The other ones are not this color on the inside, which, if you ask me, they all should be because this is, like, the best color. But this is it from Blando. They also make really nice jewelry boxes. Yeah, super cute. I usually have this one on display. Alright, next up, since we just looked at the jewelry holder, let's look at the watch on here too. I'm not really a big jewelry gal. Um, I used to be. I used to love like the long dangly necklaces, um, bracelets. I used to wear so many bracelets and earrings and I had so much jewelry and I think I just had kids. Like, I think that's what happened because once I had kids, you know, they start pulling on things. I had so many necklaces break from my kids yanking on them that I don't really wear jewelry that often. If I do, they're the layered necklaces. I really like the little layered gold necklaces. That might just be me trying to be trendy right now. I don't know. We'll see if I still wear them in 10 years, but I really like the layered gold necklaces. But I got this watch and I've had this watch for like three years now from Lola Rose. I don't even know if this exact one is available. I will look, but this is it. Isn't that so pretty, this box? I just, I'm always so shocked at how nice the case is because it's nicer than my wedding ring case. And I'm hoping my wedding ring didn't cost $133, but maybe it did. I mean, if it did, then that's great, actually. Kudos to my husband. He saved a lot. But this is it. I just love this watch. I know this lighting is a little bit bright to show you guys. Let me see if I can just shut one of them off and maybe it'll just focus in. That's such wishful thinking by me. Oh, there we go. You guys see that? Okay, it's upside down, but it is so pretty. So I have the mother of pearl one and it has like this pretty pearly background. I know it's so hard to see, but I love it. It's engraved on the gold as well. Come on, autofocus. Do your thing. There we go. Lola Rose London. The underside of the watch is also engraved too with the style of the watch and the brand. And I just think it's so beautiful. This box that it comes in is green velvet on the inside. Oh, black leather watch strap. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of different styles. When you click the link, you can see all of them. Going to it right now, one moment. So it is on sale right now. 4.6 out of five star review or rating, 
21% off and there's a $10 clippable coupon. That's for the green option. It looks like all the options on here right now have the green watch face. But if you actually click um, visit the Lola Rose storefront above the product title, you can see the other ones that they have. And I know they have other options. They have ones that don't even have green on them. Um, yeah, there's a lot in here. Oh, I want to link this one in the chat. I wonder if this will work. The one I'm about to link is so cute. It's 19% off right now with a $10 coupon. And oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Links probably aren't clickable in the chat, but I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's the, it has like a brown leather strap. It's super cute. But yeah, there's a lot of these. They seem to be on a sale right now. There's clippable coupons. They make really good gifts. Obviously, it's so pretty. And that drawer that's on here, this is real. This just opens up and then you have the warranty information in here in this cute little envelope. I'm kind of mad at myself right now for jamming it in here like this. Oh my gosh. I kept this nice for the last like three years and then I just jammed this in here last time. What's wrong with me? This is what that looks like, and it's just the warranty information. Isn't this like so nice though? I feel like there's never jewelry that comes with, at least that I'm looking at on the internet for this price, that comes with all of this just aesthetically pleasing stuff. But this is the Lola Rose. Let me know if you have questions on it. Um, the one that I have is the Mother of Pearl. There's also a really cute pink champagne gold one. All right, if you're just joining, hello and welcome. If you have watched me on here before, you might notice that things look different. <laughs> I moved my everything to the other side of the room and um, oh, I have a new light coming too. I'm super excited. My kids are back in school and my husband is, so some of you guys know I used to stream full time for a while, like a year. And then my husband quit his job so that I could stream full time. And then he got, <laughs> didn't really want to be home anymore. And he started working somewhere else. And then he realized no, like I should, I should be at home with the kids because I love what I do and he wasn't loving what he was doing at all. So now he's back home so that I can do my thing on here and I love it. So I just kind of like moved everything around to like fresh start and I love the way it looks. I'm just not used to turn before I was sitting this way and I turn to this side. So now I'm retraining my body to reach for things over here. So if I'm a little weird and awkward right now in my body functions, that's why. Or maybe I was before, I don't know. All right, let's look at the, what should we look at next? Um, maybe I should just like go straight down the list. Let's look at the Syncom Hand Massager. I have this one in white and I also have it in a light blue color. Um, I'm gonna show you guys right now the white. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Guys, this is the Syncom Hand Massager. So this has two levels of heating temperature low and high. It has two airbags and four massage heads. Um, it just deeply massages your fingers to your palms, relaxes your hand muscles. It's wireless and rechargeable. Right now you can see I have it plugged in. And there's also two thumb holes, one on each side, so that you can use it on your left and right hand. Right here you have the power button, the heat button, the mode button, and then the intensity. So right now I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so you hold down the power button. Oh. And that noise that you can hear, hopefully you can hear, is it working. So right now, I'm gonna switch the mode. Okay. 
All right, so now it's on a new mode. So when it is in blue mode, which it's in right now, that is circulation mode. So that's where the massage area goes from the finger to the palm and then back of the hand. When it is in light pink mode, light pink mode is sequence mode. In this mode, it goes from your fingers, your palm, and the back of your hand, and they get massaged one by one. And then that first mode we were in was the light green mode. With light green mode, your hand gets fully massaged. And then this is the intensity. So there is three different levels of intensity. And then this is that heat button. So I just turned the heat button on. And this does have a 15 minute auto shut off for safety. It also came with plastic gloves if you want to put lotion or oil on your hand just to get a better massage. And then it also came with this dust bag as well. All right. <laughs> I was like, last second I saw, okay, there's like eight seconds left in the video. I need to drink some water and start chugging. So if it looks like I was being kind of weird over here, that's what I was doing. All right, that's the Syncom Hand Massager. That one I show a lot around holiday time as well because it makes a really good gift. Anyone who works with their hands a lot, anyone in the skilled trades, my husband used to work in plumbing. Gosh, we've talked a lot about my husband's work today. Um, <laughs> he used to work in plumbing and his hands were always so dry and cracked from just touching metal all day and uh, he had used this a few times. It comes with gloves. You can put lotion or oil on your hands. He would always use that working hand stuff and then put the gloves on and let it massage it in and it feels amazing. It really does feel so good. Um, I actually live stream about hand massagers twice a week on a brand channel and I get to do a demo of the exact same hand massager and I'm always telling everyone like, I know I look wacky <laughs> demoing this while live, but it feels so good. I wish the whole live stream was just me sitting there like getting a massage while you guys awkwardly watch. All right, next up, let's talk about the water drop water pitchers. I really like these. I've been living live, blah. I have been <laughs> talking a lot longer than I've been live streaming, so I don't know why I'm so bad at it. I have been live streaming the water drop water pitchers for like four years now. I really like them a lot. I've had a lot of different kinds of them, different styles, different uh, cup amounts. The one linked right now is a 10 cup water filter pitcher, 20% off at $16.99. I have it in pink. You can get it in other colors as well, but this is it. So the cool thing about these, the way they work, the top of it has a sensor right here. And then that white box where it is on the back is where the sensor is. You press the button and then it will turn, mine needs the filter change, but you press the button and it will turn blue. And that means that it is on, it's ready to go. And then it's gonna turn off and you're not gonna see a light. And then when you press it, it'll just let you know based on the color if the filter is good or not. So when you press it and it shows blue, a blue light, that means the filter's good. If it flashes red, it's gonna need to be changed soon. And then solid red is uh, change it. So the flashing red is usually like my indicator that it's time for me to order new filters. You can get the filters for it on Amazon too. Uh, last time I looked, it was a two pack for like $35, but this is what they look like. They just sit right inside of the pitcher like this. And then you'd fill this up. There's a little, little door right there. So that when this is on, you can just let it go straight through the door into the top part. Gets filtered and then fills this up and then you can pour out the filtered water. Right now, $16.99 for the 10 cup one, which is actually a little bit bigger than this one. Um, light blue, dark blue, green and white are the available options. If you want a pink one, they have those in their storefront too. So just click visit the water drop storefront after you click the product. These have 4.6 out of 5 stars and over 8,000 reviews for you to check out. I'm like really hiccupy today. I don't know if you guys hear that, but... 
Okay. Next up, let's take a look at the... Where are those headphones? When I moved everything up here today, my daughter helped me and she kept setting things places where I would not normally set them and I was trying to just not be a snappy mom because she thought she was helping and if you have kids you know how that goes you know like they think they're helping so much but really you're gonna have to undo everything but <sighs> so she put things just kind of everywhere not to blame it on her but it's her fault all right let's look at the shocks open run these are the open run i also have the open move i also have the aftershocks arrow packs so shocks used to be called let me move this microphone away um Shocks used to be called Aftershocks. They rebranded, I think, beginning of 2021. Um, that sounds right. And uh, they rebranded to being called Shocks, so they just dropped the word after. And then the Aftershocks Aero Packs are now the Open Run plus Quick Charge. This is what they look like. They're very lightweight. They're silicone and titanium. They go around the back of your head and then they loop up over your ears like this and sit at the top of your cheekbone. They're just ridiculously comfortable. The sound quality is so good. I was really, I don't know, I didn't have high expectations of them because I didn't really understand how they worked. Before I ever got them, like before I got sent the Aftershocks Aeropex, I never understood how someone can hear the sound if it's not in their ear, which I know sounds silly, but when you wear these, it sounds just as good as an earbud. Like, it doesn't sound like it's not in your ear, if that makes sense, and it didn't really make sense to me. And then I got these, and I started to look it up, because I was like, why do these sound so good? And it's because the sound wave travels through your cheekbone into your cochlea so that you have an open ear to hear everything going on around you, which... Now that I had tried these ever since then, that's my preference of earbuds, of headphones, anything that makes it so that I can still hear what's going on around me. I feel like it's a very important safety feature, especially if you're someone who's like going for a jog by yourself, walking, walking from the gym to your car, especially those early morning hours, late night hours. It's so important to have an awareness of what's happening around you, not being on your phone and just like aware and I feel like these help especially if you're someone who doesn't remember to take your headphones off when you're walking to the car or if you just don't want to I just like them a lot and aside from the safety feature they're also nice because you can carry on a conversation with someone um I like them because I can listen to music and then also be able to respond to my kids because I can't just put on headphones and like do something when I need to actively be parenting so I like that with these I can still hear what is happening around me all right, these are the open run. Let me know if you have any questions on them. Um, oh, battery life. They have an eight hour battery life and quick charge. So you can plug them in for 10 minutes. You get an hour and a half of play time when you plug them in for 10 minutes, which is just so nice to me because my gym is like eight to 10 minutes away and I do not remember to charge anything ever. So I'm always needing to plug things in and just hope for the best. So they work for me and uh, USB charger. Let me know if you have questions on these, though. These are, again, the Shocks Open Run. Foam Conduction Technology. And Shocks is actually the leader in foam conduction technology. They were the last time I looked it up, so I'm just going to still roll with that. They were at least at one point. Um, what else? We have a lot of things to look at. I just always get caught up on what order I want to show you guys things in. Let's look at the Migraine Ice Cap. This one's a fun one. 70% off right now. It is $17.99. I have it in black. There's other colors too. Pulling it up on my end. Or not because... Sometimes things just go slow. Okay. This is the Comfy Tech Migraine Cap. Have you guys used one of these before? They are 
pretty useful if you have headaches a lot. My daughter has actually used this more than me. Um, she gets really bad sinus headaches. This is what it looks like. And it just goes, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now. I have makeup, I have a lot of makeup on. <laughs> I also have live streams the rest of the evening. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys like that, but you just, you know, put it on and then it goes right there. Like right down to your nose, the, your nostrils come out. It goes to like right there. And then your hair can go out through the top. This comes in two sizes. You have them so often, migraines, oh my gosh, I used to get them every single day and I was on um, Rizotriptan for it and then during my pregnancy they had to take me off of it but then I never got them during my last pregnancy. I have four kids during my last pregnancy, he's one and a half. Um, yeah, they just stopped afterwards, which knock on wood is kind of eerie that it just stopped. Uh, but for like 10 years straight and granted, like I drank a lot of caffeine and not a lot of water. And I also like don't eat all day and then eat a lot at the evening meal. So like I have all those things working against me as well, but and I'm still, I'm still doing that ridiculous unhealthy stuff, so I don't know why they stopped. But um, what I have used this for is a sinus headache. I also used it, I don't know really what happened or why this happened to me, but for like, it was like 7 to 10 days, my eyes hurt so bad. I wasn't like looking at my phone more than usual, but that was my best guess was maybe it was just prolonged screen time. Or even when I'm live streaming, I'm looking at a lot of lights so I thought maybe that could be what it is but my eyes hurt like to the touch everything around my eyes hurt like felt so bruised and nothing had hit me or anything so I used this and it felt so good I could not wait every night to put this on because my eyes hurt so bad but it I don't know I really like this thing it holds coldness really well just goes right in the freezer 70% off right now might be worth looking into if any of you guys get headaches a lot. Um, instructions, use damp cloth to wipe down, lay flat and air dry, do not get wet. Yeah. I have some makeup residue on this one, but seems like it'll be easy enough to clean. I haven't really, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I have not cleaned it yet, which is probably a little gross of me. But that's one of the ice pack type things that we have. I also have a Suzy pad. Do you guys have one of these? Because if you don't, you need one. It is, we use it for everything in my house. I use it so much. Anytime my kids have like growing pains or any type of like, sure, sleep's bothering me. Any type of like leg cramps or anything like that, we bust this out, especially if it's like in the middle of the night and my daughter will wake up. Sometimes I think it's because she's overly tired. Sometimes I think it's because she just wants to stay up. And then other times I think she's growing and her legs might hurt. But it's such a quick fix just to throw this in the microwave, put it on her legs. It's It has a weight to it. So I think that compression combined with the heat, of course, just is the perfect combo. I use this a ton after my last C-section. Um, and I really like it. Uh, I use it on my shoulders. Just a couple weeks ago, I was actually on here telling you guys this, I woke up and couldn't turn my head. And my whole neck was just locked up for like three, four days. I couldn't lift my arm. I must have just slept like the biggest weirdo ever. I would love footage of how I was sleeping that night because I was like injured <laughs> and this helped so much. Just like I said, even the weight, like the compression of the weight, um, feels really good, but having it heated up too. This is it. You just put it in the microwave. You can also put it in the freezer. It holds cold really well as well. It comes with a bag that you would put it in before you put it in the freezer, but this is it. The Susie pad. All right. We have another one on here as well, I believe. Oh, that's the ankle ice pack. That's what I'm thinking of. The Revix ankle ice pack. Um, we have a lot of things like this. I have a lot of first aid style things. 
this is it, which <laughs> has my dog's hair all over it. Now, let me just get this out of the Velcro before I show you guys this. Okay. <laughs> This is it. It is a ankle ice pack. It comes with a bag that you put it in before you put it in the freezer. And basically, I'm sure you guys know how to use these, but you just put your ankle right up into it like a boot. These straps are going to wrap around like this. And then you know, keep everything in place. It works really well and it's really good quality. That should be your takeaway on this one. If you are someone who likes to keep first aid things on hand, if you ever find yourself needing one, remember to go for this one because it's just really good quality and we are happy with it. Um, my daughter used this at the beginning of the summer. She is nine, but she's very tall and wears women's shoe sizes and it fit her it also fits me who is also very tall and <laughs> wears women's shoe sizes but this is what it looks like so revix ice pack um right now let me see what the dealio is it's on a lightning deal eight percent claims and it doesn't have a time thing. It's just 8% have claimed the deal. So 20% off. All right. Let me know if you have any questions on it. Um, yeah. Reduces swelling, relieves pain. Why I like it over buying like a different brand is just how quality it is. Everything about it is just like really good quality. All right, let me know if you have any questions on any of that so far. If you're just joining, hello and welcome. We are looking at a bunch of stuff today. A whole mixture. I will probably do a get ready with me tomorrow morning. If you hit follow, you'll get a notification when that happens. Um, I actually just went to I just went shopping and uh, got a bunch of new makeup that I will show you guys tomorrow morning. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> All right, another first aid kit thing that we have on my product list is the Niceful bandages. There's a lot of different kinds that you can get from Niceful. This is what they look like. Um, this is the silicone foam dressing with border, and this is the transparent dressing. I just like to keep a good first aid kit stock. I'm always restocking it. Seriously, I'm always restocking it with saline wipes, alcohol prep pads, bandages, um, those bug bite, mosquito bite bandages. I have four kids, so I need to keep a good stock of stuff like this, and I really like having quality things. I have found that if you buy the like cheap, poor quality <laughs> uh, bandages, you end up using more because they don't stick and then the kids pull them off and then you have to replace it. So if you just buy nice quality ones and use them right away, that's not a problem. Um, all different size packs, all different size bandages from them are available if you wanna check them out. Currently selected on the product list. I also have Nice Fulls medical tape as well. This comes in a lot of different size packs, but if you view the Nice Full storefront, you can see this as well. Okay. We should look at the Mateen shower brush next. 38% off right now. It's $10. I sometimes show this one around Christmas time because I think it's a good stocking stuffer for older kids like teens, tweens. Um, I use it all the time. Well, not this one. That's a lie. I don't use this one all the time. This one is my husband's. I have Mateen's handheld bamboo brushes that I personally really love. He likes the long handled one. I am going to show it to you guys right now. It's in our shower. <laughs> I'm not going to bring you to my shower, but I am going to show you guys my review video on it. Here it is. Mateen two-sided shower brush. 
has a nice long handle. It's a bamboo wood handle. And then it actually came with this hanger as well. Ew, you can see how dirty my shower walls are, sorry. Um, it came with this adhesive hanger for it. Um, one side is soft bristled, this one right here, and then this side is a little more stiff for dry brushing. Um, I also have the little handhelds from Mateen as well, and these are great too. But overall, I would say this is a good quality brush. Um, I like the length of the All handle. Alright, that is the... And yeah, I'd say 5 out of 5 star review. That is the M Mateen Long Handled Shower Brush. Let me know if you have questions on that. It's just a nice long handled bamboo shower brush. I like to use the handheld ones which are just like that one except that one has a long handle for exfoliating and then cleansing before self tanning. So if you're looking for a good exfoliating brush, if when you self tan you get those strawberry patches, exfoliate, shave good, good razor, use shaving cream, exfoliate, um, and yeah. You won't get those anymore, but I like having this. It's like a good for exfoliating, but not abrasive enough that it's like tearing up my skin. And I have pretty sensitive skin. Next up, we are gonna check out the Red Tiger dash cam. It's thirty six percent off right now. Um, I drove my husband's truck like, I don't know, like four weeks ago. And I had never driven it before. And he doesn't have a dash cam. He doesn't have a backup cam or anything. And I'm used to driving the Suburban where we have a camera. And I texted him and I was like, how, how do you drive? Like, how do you back, pack your truck up? How do you park? Like, I can't without a camera and I need to be able to see when I'm pulling into a spot if I'm pulling in and there's a car already parked this is the parked car okay I need to be able to see how close I am so I don't smash their bumper or park a ridiculous ways away oh my gosh you guys actually it doesn't even matter that I have a camera because last weekend I went to my mom's house and I was meeting up with someone to sell something to them and I pulled into a parking spot and I couldn't figure out why everyone around kept looking at me and then I got out of the car and realized I had pulled in and parked with like half the parking stall to go but it was like diagonal parking and I just couldn't tell how not far up I was pulled and I was so embarrassed that I just like chilled like there and smiled back at people so anyways get a dash cam so you don't embarrass yourself but this is a good one 36% off um, seriously it is a good one it's highly rated and it is the red tiger so you get two dash cams. You get one, well, two cameras. You get one for the front for the dash, and then you get one like a backup cam. When you download the app and connect this to it, you get live footage. You can save the footage to your phone. You can save still images to your phone. You can use the built-in GPS. This is what it looks like. So you got this Red Tiger dash cam, and obviously we don't have it installed yet because it is in the box, but I wanted to do an unboxing so you guys know what to expect if you get it. So this camera is supposed to be 4K, dual recording, so front and rear camera, GPS, loop recording, one click sharing. There is an app that this goes with and you can download that on the Android and iOS app store. All right, let's open this up and take a look. I feel like even without it being installed, unboxing videos can really show you the quality. So this is it, this is what it looks like. is the back it says please read the manual before using please do a bench test before installation set the time zone so when this peels off that is the screen on the side you have the buttons I'm assuming the M would stand for mode and then an up and down button the bottom has a reset button and this side has a power button 
right? I'm just pressing it to see if it would turn on. Okay, so yeah, I imagine it would need to be charged or plugged in. And then this box has everything else that you need. So this is the mount. And it has this 3M sticky tape. It is adjustable. And then right here, you have the cord that plugs into your car charger outlet. And then this plugs into the side of the camera. Let's open this up. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the rear facing camera. So this has this type of cord on the end. So there is this camera as well. And again, I'm just assuming here that this would be the, it says it's a dual camera. So this would be the camera that goes on the opposite side to face the back. And it also comes with this and some more 3M tape. All right. The user manual is also in the box. Good thing, because I would have no idea how to install this without this. All right, let's see. Let's just check and make sure that that little camera is the rear. Okay, right here, how to install the rear camera. Yeah, so that is the rear camera. And they give you very detailed instructions on how to install that. They also, I noticed, show a picture of the app. So it looks like in the app, I know you can record in like one click share who you wanna send in the footage to. And then these are also options in the app. Camera settings. You can play the play the uh, footage on the computer. Playback mode. So yeah, this is the Red Tiger camera. We are excited to install this. We have not done so yet. We just bought a new Suburban, and we are gonna install this before we go on vacation. So I will definitely update with what it looks like when we have the app downloaded. Okay, that is the Red Tiger dash cam. 36% off right now, 127.49. One second, I'm gonna open it up. Open up the link. Okay, there's a 5% off clippable coupon. So 10% would be about 12.75, so. Mm. Yeah, so you'd get about $6 something off. So you're paying right around $121 for it when you clip that 5% coupon. Over 6,900 reviews for you to check out. It's Amazon's choice in car on dash mounted dash cams. 4K, you can download the app as well. So you can use the built-in GPS. Let me know if you have questions on the Red Tiger dash cam, but um, it's been like very highly rated for quite a while. And this is a really good sale. There's a lot of review videos too to check those out. Next up, we are gonna look at the countertop ice maker. This is on sale right now. It is 20% off. All right, 20% off, $87.99. So this one has over 4,300 reviews, 4.3 out of 5 stars. You can get it in multiple colors and you can get different ice styles. So the kind I have is the bullet ice. I also have the, I want to say I have the smallest, smallest poundage on it, uh, 26.5 pounds for it. So it takes 6 minutes to make 9 pieces of ice. I'm going to show you guys what this one looks like when it's in use. 
I really, really like it. We use it all the time. I actually had to talk to my family about not keeping it plugged in like 24 seven because it needs a little bit of a rest sometimes. And they like, we were just always using it. And in the middle of the night, I could hear it making ice because the house is quiet because people are sleeping. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, why is that still plugged in? And still making ice because we don't need it to be. But then if I unplug it in the morning, everyone's like, hey, why do you unplug the ice maker? So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should just let them keep it plugged in. But we all love it. It makes ice quickly and efficiently. And we don't have one of those fridge ice makers. One of those modern style ice makers. But I really do think this is such a cool thing. I'm looking for the video right now. But I do think it's so cool, especially because it's so easy to use. You can literally take it anywhere. Okay, this is it. This is the ice maker. This is the ice machine that we got off of Amazon, and I absolutely love it. It has a handle. It's super portable. Right now, it says the ice is full, so I need to scoop the rest of this out and put it in a bag and put it in the freezer. But it just works so good. It works so quick. You put the ice underneath here. There is a max fill line. And then you just put the bucket in, the basket, and then you shut it. And then it is going to make ice and it makes it really, really fast. I notice that it seems to make it faster if I add cold water into it versus room temperature. But um, yeah, you guys see it in there. It makes the ice right off of those holes that come off and then it just drops it and then this pushes it right into here highly recommend um we don't have a fridge or freezer ice maker so this has just been a huge game changer okay that is the ice maker let me know if you have any questions on it so easy to use you literally just put the water in plug it in and then it'll make ice it also comes with that ice bag and it comes with a scooper all right, $87.99 right now to me, it's under $90 and completely worth it. Like if my ice maker were to break right now, if I go downstairs and I find out my kids broke it, I would definitely 100% order a new one and I would order this exact same one. Uh, the only thing I would change is I would maybe get, let me see if they even make it bigger. Mm. Yeah, I would maybe do like cube ice 45 pounds like I would just make get a bigger one because I like it and we use the ice a lot but definitely would purchase this one if ours were to break and this is the one we have <laughs> I'm not saying this is the one I would buy if my other one that I have broke I'm saying we have this and I would repurchase it okay we are gonna check out I'm gonna show you guys the Anything else convenient in my household? Oh, the Briggy vacuum. I like having a little handheld vacuum. The Briggy is 24% off right now and is a handheld vacuum that comes with multiple attachments. I specifically like using the air nozzle one on this. It has this little nozzle that attaches and it just really, really well, like blows air really fast and it gets like crumbs out from next to the stovetop stuff out of my keyboard which how do I I already have stuff in my keyboard so it just it does a good job of doing that I'm going to show it to you guys right now um this is the Briggy vacuum you Briggy has like a lot of different vacuums to check out if this is not exactly what you want but you've been looking for a handheld vacuum Here we go.
All right, that's the Briggy vacuum. It has a 10% off coupon right now, so you just clip that coupon, and that will take uh, $4.70 off. So clip that, and you will get this for right around $43. Um, over 5,000 reviews for you to check out. I have, I want to say mine is actually the M1. I'm looking right now because there's two options when you click the product. Mine is the M1 and there is a $5 off coupon. So just so you guys know, the one I just showed you guys is the M1. But it is a nifty little convenient vacuum. Next up, we are going to look at the, oh, let me show you guys the Apple charging cords just because they're on a good sale today. These ones stay on a pretty good sale. If I'm being honest, I show you guys these a lot because they're just on a good sale. And I don't know who doesn't always need more chargers. This is what the pack looks like. So I actually have a purple one from this pack too that I use to charge my phone during my live streams. But it has all of these in it. You get um, a 10 foot cord, that's the red one. And then you get three six foot cords. That's the purple one that I have for my phone that I use during the live streams, green and pink, and then you get these two three foot long cords, but they are 75% off right now, $9.96. They are USB to lightning, so your um, iPhones, your iPads. That's, the, that's what it looks like. But yeah, it's a multi-color pack, which is also nice if you have a lot of people in your household who use these so you know who's is who's. I actually showed you guys these as an Easter basket recommendation last year for like older kids. Mm, cloud sandals. Let's look at those. I love my cloud sandals. They are the comfiest sandals. I always say and I always feel <laughs> like my review video on the clown cloud Probably not good marketing to call them clown sandals accidentally. I meant cloud sandals. Um, they're honestly so ridiculously comfortable. I wear them everywhere around the house, school pickup. Um, they're just my favorite. And they're easy to clean. They don't hold smell. Unisex sizing. They're really good for wide feet too. Not a lot of sandals are just, not a lot of sandals fit like this. And I really like them. All right, so let's talk about sandals. I feel like Cool Influencer has the cloud sandals, and I was so hesitant to get cloud sandals. They are the comfiest sandals that I've ever worn. These are amazing. I probably already said that, but I could say it like 500 times more. They are so comfy. I live in these. I live in them to the point where the writing is coming off on the bottom because I don't really take them off. As soon as I'm done with this review, I'm going to put them right back on. This is what they look like. Mine are a little bit dirty because, like I said, I don't really take them off. They are clearly very thick. They give you a little bit of height, but they just feel like your foot is surrounded by a cloud. Hence the name Cloud Sandals. They are just beyond comfortable. I love that they don't hold smell either. Um, a lot of slip-on sandals have the fabric underneath here, and I feel like it holds on to sweat. If you step in water, it's going to get wet and then smell bad. So I like that these don't hold smell. They're also super easy to clean because of the material. You can just easily wash them off. So, so comfy. If you're going on vacation, you need these for the beach, but really just for anything. Running errands, going outside, doing yard work, walking around the house. I don't take them off. A million percent recommend they are true to size so get the size that you would normally wear they're unisex sizing too tons of colors available I got the black ones because they match everything but I know there's like leopard print multicolor I want them in all the colors because again like the comfiest sandal I've ever worn all right that was or those are the cloud sandals 
You can get those in a lot of different colors too. The price really varies depending on which color you choose. So you guys saw I have the black ones. But they have like a white, three shades of pink, purple, red, gray. There's a lot. They are so comfy. I, like I said, I hesitated to get them for a long time because I thought they're, I don't buy shoes a lot. So when I do, I try to make them like cute shoes that'll go with like cute out, like going out outfits. But uh, these are the comfiest things. They really are. I will show you guys the pet stuff next. So I have uh, two dogs and a cat. My dogs, Casey and Coda, they're actually, it's kind of weird. Um, if you guys have time for a little dog story, my golden retriever, we got him, we actually got him when I was pregnant with my third born. And... I found out I was pregnant after we had already gotten him and my wedding was six months away. So our plan was to get a puppy and have a wedding. What happened was, <laughs> yes, we got pregnant. No, we, <laughs> we were planning our wedding, decided to get a puppy, didn't think it would interfere. And then I also was pregnant. And when I, when we had our wedding, I was six months pregnant. So we, had, whatever, Coda's his name. He's a golden retriever. And then, like, three years later, I, almost every day, actually, I would look at the place that we got him. I'd look at their Facebook page just to see other puppies, see if, what's for sale. And I saw that they had posted that none of their U2 the pregnancy part. I need to know what the me too part is. <laughs> um, I, they posted that they have a, oh really? Oh my gosh, at your wedding? That's so funny. Well, I mean, not funny. We both know it's not funny, but it really, unless you planned for that, it really changes everything, right? Like I look back at my wedding and I think, I don't remember I, I was so, like, anxious and, like, pregnant and, ugh, it, I thought I was going to be, like, partying at my wedding, okay? I thought I was going to, like, be able to have a good time before everyone shows up and, like, not clear-mindedly say my vows and, I, I don't know, I guess, <laughs> I guess I wanted a kid instead, but, um... Oh, I was looking at the Facebook page for these puppies and they had posted, we're so sorry, but the litter that we were expecting to be for sale is no longer for sale. And it was totally none of my business, but I was like, I need to know why these dogs aren't for sale. So I emailed the woman and I was like, hey, just wondering, like, why aren't your dogs for sale anymore? And she said, unfortunately, even though all the puppies had been spoken for, the dogs did not come out golden retrievers. And it was a golden retriever Amish farm. And... She said that the black lab from up the street, their neighbors were puppy sitting a black lab and the black lab snuck over and mated with the dog's mom. Or now, I haven't gotten that far yet. The dog had mated with the female dog and impregnated her. They didn't know that because she was set to breed with, um, they like, you know, put the dogs together in a barn for a while and they do their thing and she was set to do that the next day with a different dog which she did so they were shocked when the puppies were born and one of them was black furred instead of gold but all the other ones looked like golden retriever puppies so had one of them not come out looking like a black lab they wouldn't have known so that's what made them like, wait a minute. And then everything made sense. So 
they couldn't sell them anymore because they're a golden retriever. That's what they sell is golden retrievers. They didn't want like having non purebred golden retrievers attached to their farm name, their breeding name. So she's like, we can't sell them. And I was like, well, I want, I want one. I want the black one. And they're like, if you can come pick her up. And then they sold her to me. So I don't even know what they were going to do. They weren't going to sell them to people from their farm. They were going to have their relatives take them and sell them, like, just individually. And it turns out that the mom of the Black Lab that I now have, the Golden Retriever mom, was my boy dog's mom. So they're, like, half-siblings kind of weird they're half siblings and no one would ever guess it because they don't look anything alike I'm gonna show you guys um I'm gonna show you guys what she looks like in just a minute anyways I'm gonna show you guys the dog bed first and then you guys will see what Casey looks like um I don't even think in this video but when I show you guys the pet vacuum you'll see her but yeah she's my dog's half sis and she's black lab Coda's a full golden retriever though Yeah, I was so excited when they sold her. I was like, what do you mean she's not for sale? What do you mean these dogs aren't for sale? I I didn't even know I wanted another dog until I was told that it wasn't for sale. And I told my husband, like, hey, like we got to go. Like, this puppy, <laughs> she's going to sell it to me. And he's like, we are not getting another dog. But we'll just go look at her, okay? Like... All we need to do is just go look at her. We don't need to come home with her. And he's like, you know, if we pull up to this farm and you see a puppy, we're going to come home with her. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, I'm looking for this dog bed. This is it, the flower-shaped dog bed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. dog bed I also have the dog vacuum on here and honestly if you're a dog owner you should really consider one of these if you don't have one um, we love this okay I shouldn't say we I love this I use it no one else in my house uses it but they don't know it but they love it because it's the reason that we don't have as much hair floating around like we used to 126.99 right now it's 15% off and I'll tell you guys why I love this thing so it's a vacuum. You're going to see it in just a second. I actually, oh, it's right there. Um, I'm going to show you guys a demo video of it, but it is a vacuum that has all the head attachments to groom your dog. So it comes with a brush, a shedding brush, a hair clippers. It comes with everything that you need for grooming your dog, a nail grinder. Everything connects to the vacuum though everything connects to the vacuum hose so as you are grooming your dog everything goes straight into the vacuum the hair clippings the everything uh the nails if you use the nail grinder the shavings from that um it's so cool you can also use the hair clippers without without having it hooked up to the vacuum if you don't want to do that it is a rechargeable hair clipper um what else i'm gonna show it to you guys this is the dog grooming kit, dog grooming vacuum, 15% off right now. My plan when recording this was to do a whole unboxing, show you guys all the different tools, but you can see that on the actual Amazon product listing. So I'm just going to show you that really quick, and then I'm going to show you how good it works. 
I absolutely love this thing. Basically, it's a vacuum that you can hook a dog hairbrush to and all the other attachments. There's one just for brushing your dog, one for just shedding your dog. There's a uh, nail grinder. There's also attachments just for getting dog hair off of your furniture. Um, a bunch of attachments, as you probably saw. All of the hair goes right into the vacuum tank, and then you can just throw it away at the end. That's huge for me because I have a golden retriever and a black lab. And when I brush my golden retriever, my black lab likes to chase down the hair. So this is just such a huge solution for us. Also, my dogs shed a lot. There are two breeds that shed a ton. So just having that extra hair off makes a huge difference. I'm showing you guys right now, all you have to do is brush your dog like you normally would. And then you push a button on the brush and it sucks in the hair. It goes through the hose and into the vacuum tank. You're going to see in just just a second with my black lab right here i'm going to show you guys just how it sucks right up that hose so when you push that button it's pulling the hairbrush needles in to release the hair and then it sucks in okay it's literally the coolest thing i absolutely love this product and this is what the hair looks like in the tank afterwards for me to go throw in the trash okay that's the dog grooming vacuum again it's like just a really nice product. I really like having it. And before we had this, when I would brush out my dog, the Golden Retriever, my Black Lab would always eat his hair and, like, chase it around the yard. And I don't know why. Like, I I still don't really get it, why she would want to eat his hair. But it's not my place to judge. So I just use this now. 15% off and a $20 clippable coupon too. So you are getting this for right around $106.99. Let's, let's, thank you, Michelle. Sometimes I just assume no one's listening. So if I... If I have any, like, weird little jokes to spit out, now is my time, you know? Okay, let's look. Oh, you know what? You know what joke I made the other day <laughs> that I really, like, second guess? Like, should I hit post or not? I was selling a um, baby pack and play. And in the description, I said, uh smoke-free home but we have dogs they've never really used the pack and play though someone asked me about it in an email like who wanted to know about it they're like you said the dogs never really used it did you buy this for the dogs like was this like for pet use and I was like oh no sorry I just was trying to be funny <laughs> I, guess, I guess Craigslist isn't the platform um, it's okay. You win some, you lose some. They probably weren't going to come to my comedy show anyways. Let's look at some of the... Did I already say what I was going to show you guys next? <laughs> I got a delivery. <laughs> That's funny. Was it Amazon? Um, oh, I'm waiting for an Amazon delivery right now. I ordered a light to go behind me. It's a neon light that says live. Kind of fun. <laughs> yup. Amazon. I love Amazon deliveries. I love when I go really hard on my shopping and the Amazon truck has to back into my driveway. The rush I feel... The white car. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, oh, that those dog feeding bowls, the elevated ones. Is that the one that you got? I, oh, I wish I would have ordered that. I just have both dogs, so I'd have to buy two. <laughs> and like, it's not a good deal, but I'm not trying to buy two of anything. What kind of dog do you have? Um, let's look at. Sorry, I'm for Chihuahuas. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Was it a small one? <laughs> was I didn't even look at the size. I just thought, oh, this is nice. That's usually, that's the thing that I do as well on here is I'll get really excited about something. Like, I'll be at checkout on a pair of sandals, and then I'll notice last second that they're not even adult sizes. 
like for something I'm buying for me. I've accidentally bought my husband boys underwear before because I was so excited about a deal that I just checked out. Oh, that's nice um, that it's adjustable. I, we have like only one area where my dog's bowls can go and it's on the tile and it's also right at the top of a stairway and it's the most inconvenient place to have dog bowls but it's the only place where my son won't get into them. Yeah, and he, I was really defensive at first, too, with the underwear because he held them up and he's like, these just don't look like, they look shorter than usual. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you. That might be just, like, how they make them now. Like, I'm so sick of the complaints in this household. And he's like, well, <laughs> like, they don't look like <laughs> they're my size. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you. Do you not, is, are they not a large, is it not your waist size? Like, I bought your size. And then I looked at the tag and I saw that it said um, YL for youth large. And when he first asked me about it, he's like, well, it says YL, not L. And I was like, the Y is probably for whatever large is in Chinese. Nope. I just like jumped on a deal. So there's a lot of things around my house that don't really make sense because I just quickly checked out. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the baby stuff next. Um, I have the Mom Cozy Retractable Baby Gate that I really love. It's just nicer looking, I think, than a lot of baby gates. I'll... Exactly, could have been for a fancy night, like show some thigh every now and then. Save them for our anniversary or something. Ew. I just thought of like wanting to see him in like boys underwear. That's weird. <laughs> Don't save them for our anniversary, never mind. Especially now that I have a son, it feels weird. <laughs> All right, where's this baby gate? Something needs to make me stop talking. Oh, okay, here it is. Um, oh no. <laughs> so this is the mom cozy baby gate. Um, let me, there's the there's the youth underwear wearer himself. So the way this works, you retract it out, you pull it out, and then you hook it on those hooks, and then you hit the lock button, as you're gonna see. So you do that, and then you hit lock, and then it locks in place. A reason I really like this is because above that lock button, everything's reversed now, so it's on this side. Um, above that lock button is a button you can press and take the whole thing off. It comes with two sets of hardware so that you can just like attach it into another doorway. I think that's pretty cool. And then you can't get through it, unlock it, and you can do that, you know. I really like it. Um, I just feel like it's a lot nicer than a lot of baby gates that we've had and ones that I've seen. They also sell it in a taller option. I think it's like 36 inches tall. But yeah, we like it. I wish I would have had one that looks nice like that with my first baby. Um, we had the most obnoxious baby gate. It was wood and like a white plastic type of fencing in the middle of it with one of those wood bars that you have to pop up and then it accordions and then you got to like pop it down. You know what I mean? Uh, I cannot stand the accordion style baby gates. They frustrate me so bad. My brain goes numb because I don't even comprehend how to use them. Like I will just keep it up and step over it for the rest of my life if it means that I have to take it down. Yeah, same. Those are, they're just so obnoxious. Um, my husband got a kennel for our dogs and it was, it was like five baby gates put together that are just like that and you had to do that to every single side. Extend it out and pop it down and I thought this is like a nightmare of a product. It, like a bunch of men must have met in a group and they're like, how could we make things really, really just more inconvenient for new moms or dog owners? And they're like, I know let's make an impossible baby gate and then let's attach them all so that it's a so that it's a puppy playpen not a single woman in the room spoke up 
All right, let's look at the Universal Stroller Organizer next. I really like this a lot too. It fits my big tumbler cups like this. Well, not this one, but my ones that are just this bottom size. Uh, I have a, a Starbucks tumbler mug that fits in it. I think I show you guys, or maybe it's a different one, but I'm gonna show you guys the Stroller Caddy. Oh, beer, same. Okay, I'm glad you said that. I've been drinking this coffee all day and I just need to finish it stroller organizer that I got off of Amazon um, I have four kids so usually our stroller cup holders have their water bottles in it and then I don't have any place to put my stuff so this one has two insulated cup holders and as you can see it fits my big tumbler mug and like I said these are insulated too so it's gonna keep your drinks hot or cold and as you can see like my stroller doesn't even fit my cup so it's nice that this does and then so two cup holders and then this velcro shut and this is a little pouch in there for you to put stuff and there's also this little zip mesh pouch as well there's a pouch right here and then this has a zipper so this opens up but this also zips off so if you want to put your wallet or keys in here and then zip it off when you get to where you're going to take this in your purse you can do that this just velcros right over your stroller bar and then also comes with this strap too so if you want to hook this on to the sides of it you can then take this off and use it as a carry bag all right, that is the Stroller Caddy from Mom Cozy. Really love that brand a lot. Another baby brand that I like is the Dream Egg brand. You guys, I have tried a lot of baby products. I have a lot of baby products. I've gotten rid of a lot. I, again, I have four kids. And I my firstborn is nine years old. Second born is now eight years old. Uh, well, okay, they're about to turn eight and nine in the next two months, but they're technically seven and eight. I have a three and a half year old, and then I also have a one and a half year old. And I have just, you know, a lot of products that were out in 2015 are no longer popular, and a lot of things have came out since then. So I just feel like I've gotten to try a lot of things, and I really like this brand. They have this travel sound machine. They also have a noise machine nightlight that we keep plugged into my son's room that he absolutely loves. So this plays 21 different sounds. Um, these buttons on the side kind of categorize the sounds. So like, that's a timer button, but <laughs> this one right here, this top button, This is white, white noise sounds. Makes that little chime when it's done with that category. And then I'm going to press the music note for the next one. This is going to be the nature sounds. fire roasting then these are gonna be baby sounds so like lullaby shushing heartbeat yeah. and you can change the volume of course there's volume up and down and then there's also a timer button because you can do a 30 60 or 90 minute timer on this Yeah, this is it. This is the Dream Egg Travel Noise Machine. It is rechargeable. There's also a lock on the bottom. If you want to turn that on so that your baby, if they get a hold of it, they can't like change the settings. Otherwise, when you turn this back on, it will just start playing whatever you last left it on. But this is it. Little Dream Egg White Noise Machine. Portable sound machine. All right, let's look at the, um, I talked a lot, you guys. We're running out of time. Um, oh, the All Dance wearable, head, wearable stereo headphones. 
I always read the product title and it never makes sense to me. But this is what they are. They're earbuds. And they come in this nice charging case. 16 hours of playtime. This is what they look like. I'm supposed to... Supposed to start... <laughs> says me. Start working out again tomorrow and... I don't want to. Like, at all. But I need to because I, like, do miss... <laughs> Not really. I was going to say, I, I do miss going to the gym. No, I don't. Not even a little bit. But I know that, like, it's the healthy thing to do. And I think I'm going to give these a try tomorrow. I've worn them around the house, but not to the gym. They turn on automatically once you open this up. They charge up in here. You just plug the charger into here. They are labeled left and right. This is the left ear. And they just hook over the back of your ear like that so they don't go in your ear like an earbud but they just sit over I did two days in a row and I felt great then I kept forgetting <laughs> I I have too much guilt to ever like actually forget like every okay I've been paying for a gym membership for a year a year and a half straight and I haven't gone more than like twice and that was like a year and a half ago so I think about it all the time how why am I paying for something I don't even go to but I do actually feel so much better once I am going <sighs> lately I just feel like I'm tired and like if I start working out then I'm gonna start eating healthy <laughs> and like then I'm gonna be on this like happy fitness journey and like once <laughs> I know you're probably thinking what's the problem <laughs> the problem is once I start I'll either have to commit to that or not commit to it and then keep telling myself like oh you failed at that so I'm like hesitating to even put myself in a position where I'll fail that sounds so like a therapist would just have a heyday with me, but yeah. If I do go, I'm gonna wear these. These Ola Dance, Ola Dance head earbuds because they're comfy. Hello, Kyle. Yeah. I think, even though what I just said sounds a little bit wacky, I'm sure it's a lot of people, a lot of women's internal monologue of just like yeah I want to start doing that but that just like takes a lot of energy and effort okay so <laughs> um okay like I said 16 hours of playtime they are just honestly very comfy earbuds that sound really good they're touch control they have the buttons on the outside it of course comes with the instruction manual that tells you like um you know, like, tap this twice and it will go to the next song. Tap this one twice and it'll blah, blah, blah. Apparently, I just hit the one that activates my voice. Look. Literally. It says, I don't know what that means. Um, that's funny. So, apparently, double tapping this one activates voice assistant. But they sound good. They feel good. I can move around and they're not going to fall off. And they're bone conduction, which I really like. This is, this is weird. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Kyle. Hey, Michelle. Those are so great. I hate stuff in my ear. Me too. Um, and I hate feeling like I can't hear what else is happening around me. It kind of gives me anxiety when I feel like I can't hear what's happening around me. <laughs> is someone talking to me or should I feel panicky because I exist in the world and I can't hear it? But these are them and they're really good. They would be a good gift as well. Let's look at the eyebrow pens next. I have two of them up here from Eye Method Beauty. One of them is the skinnier one. It is 29% off right now. It's under $10 and it's a really good eyebrow pen. This is what the tip looks like. 
So it does like hair like strokes. Show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, these are like really good hair strokes to draw little fake eyebrow hairs. So they're like really good. My eyebrows are pretty filled in right now. Otherwise, I would show it to you guys, like what it looks like on the eyebrows. But really good um, magic stick. Really good um, eyebrow pen. And it doesn't oxidize to a different color, which is key if you have like light brown hair, ashy hair, dirty blonde hair, a lot of those colors like light brown, um, light blonde, or ash blonde will oxidize to be like a greenish tint and this one does not. So I personally love that. And then I have another one from iMethod and it's the thicker one right here. This one is completely, I've like completely dried this one out. Yeah, nothing's coming out of this one. Um, I've had this one for a while. I'm gonna show you guys the video I took of this one when I first got it though, just so you can see what it looks like in use. One second, I'm gonna find this review video. I put it somewhere. All right, this is it. That is the iMethod eyebrow pen, the thicker one of the two. Both of those are really good and they don't oxidize, they stay on a long time. All right, we will check out, we just have a few things left to look at. Um, one of them is the EcoFlow River Power Bank. So this is 10% off right now. I have had this one that's currently selected for a while. I'm going to show it to you guys right now. Um, it works really, really well. It's a really nice thing to have on hand, especially if you're someone who would need a portable outlet for get togethers, camping. I would never go camping with like no way to plug something in, which sorry, <laughs> sorry if that makes me like just not as, I don't know, not as cool. Uh, I just, mm, I'm good. I at least need something to plug in a coffee maker. This is the power bank. It would be a really good gift for anyone who goes like camping a lot. Anyone who, I will say if you, it's more of like hiking and travel, the EcoFlow River 2 is a lot lighter weight, but this one, I really like how it has all the outlets. Okay, let me show this to you guys. This is the power bank. This is our new EcoBowl power station to take with us when we go camping, to the lake for the day, really anywhere that we might need a power station. So I'm going to unbox it with you guys and then we are going to see how it works. I'm gonna actually test it out with my hair straightener. Gonna plug that in in a little bit and see if it powers it up. So this is it straight out of the box. We're going to take everything out and then I'll show it to you. All right, so here it is. Let's turn this on. Technically, if you're going to use it, you should charge it up first, but right now I don't have it plugged into anything. I'm just showing you guys the inputs on the front. You have USB-C, USB, and then you also have the quick charge on the side of it you actually have your regular outlets. And this is where I'm gonna test out my hair straightener. So there is that little switch on the side to turn on the outlets. 
and then you can plug something into it like you're gonna see very soon. All right, this is the back of it, nothing fancy there. And then let's turn it to the other side. This actually, it pops open for more of your inputs. So on this side is where you can plug in the charger. You can also plug in the uh, solar panel. If you have one, that's another way that you can charge it or your car charger. And it comes with all of these. I'm going to show you those very soon as well. All right, I turn this bad boy on and it shows you how many hours it's going to last with your current settings. And then I turn on the flashlight and as you can see, it drops down those hours because it's using more of the energy. Made the light brighter. And then there's the flashing one too. And you can see that number drop of how long the battery will last. So that is the light on it. All right turn it off and I am now going to show you guys how this works with me plugging in my hair straightener if I am going camping it's gonna be with like all my products my hair stuff this is gonna be definitely needed so right here I'm just showing you guys that it's not currently on I'm gonna plug it in and I did turn on that switch on the power station and now my hair straightener is turning on. And again, my hair straightener is just plugged into this power station. The power station is not plugged into anything else. So I could literally take this to the middle of my backyard and be able to use it. All right, now let's look at that black box full of stuff and see what it comes with. Right there is just the quick start guide. It's basically what I already did in the beginning of this video. So this is going to come with, of course, directions, but then you get your cords. So I'm gonna show you guys right now the cords that it comes with. Right here, you have your cigarette lighter to charge it in your car. And then right here you have the adapters for a solar panel. So of course it does not come with a solar panel, but if you choose to charge it using a solar panel, you're gonna need that cord, so hang on to it. And then you have the regular charger as well. It just plugs into the power station and then you plug it into the wall outlet. Okay, that is the uh, EcoFlow River. And then this is the River 2. So this is also a power bank from EcoFlow but it is the upgraded version from the brand. All right, one second, we are frozen here. All right, so this one, if I go, I'm glamping, me too. I just saw that the chat just loaded, but same. Have you ever seen those, um, they're like glamping birthday parties that they'll like come out and do, like different companies will come out and do, companies that do this, and it's like the cutest teepees and like ground pillows, it's for little girls birthday parties, but I think it's the cutest thing, and like kind of a genius business idea. Here is that, um power bank the river two so this one very similar to the other one this one is quick charge as well the other one zero to eighty percent in an hour this is zero to one hundred percent you have two usbs a usb-c and then a three prong outlet up here instead of just two two prongs and this one is also compatible with a solar panel and this is the river two it's also significantly lighter weight tells you the same info when you turn it on though input watt output watt percentage hours yeah that is the ecoflow river too all right one more thing that we have on here to check out and that is the nebula capsule this is a projector and a speaker a Bluetooth speaker so when you use it as a projector you get a full Android menu you get all of your apps um, YouTube Amazon Prime uh, any type of app like that uh, Paramount Plus all of your apps you get a full 
just like a smart TV, essentially it just casts the same screen that a Android powered smart TV would cast. You also can plug in your device to it. You can download the app and use the app as a remote, but it does come with a remote too. And let me show you guys the, where did we put the box? Thank you for following me. Okay, this is the projector. This is what it looks like when it's all set up and on. <laughs> but it has a full menu, so this shows you guys kind of that it's Android 7.1. It's the size of a soda can. I it works really good. I'm actually gonna show you guys the demo. I'm gonna it's a long demo, so I'm gonna click out of it fairly soon on, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like when it's doing its thing. Right now the Nebula Bunker, this is it. It is the size of a soda can, super convenient for travel. It is also rechargeable. I have it fully charged right now and on, so we are going to check it out right now. For the purpose of this video, I just have it sitting right here on a dual in the basement on a projector screen. So I just turn it on and this is the first time that we are using it. All right, so I cut the lights so that we can be by Android. So right on the projector. Okay, I know this is weird because I paused it and you guys can hear me, <laughs> but um, this is what that uh, app, what it looks like. So you get all of these apps. So you can just select whatever app you want. You can download more apps from the app store, set up Netflix if you want. See all of these, you have so much access to all of these. Super cool. So like if you don't have a smart TV, it's kind of the next best thing that you can just cast this onto your wall up to a hundred inches. So a hundred inch TV is pretty big. Download your apps and then use it just like you would a smart TV. It comes with a remote. You can use your phone as a remote. It also has a button on the top to turn it into a Bluetooth speaker. So when you press the button right on the top of it, it will just turn into a Bluetooth speaker. You can also connect this one to a like a different speaker as well. So if you're watching a movie, you can, you know, have it play the sound through a different speaker. But yeah, it is a very good little projector. So it's available in red and black. The red might be sold out right now, but it is very, very convenient. Um, size of a soda can. It has the threading on the bottom to put it on a tripod and it works really well. It also has the HDMI on the back. So what I have done in the past is take this right here. Okay. This cord's stuck, so I can't show you guys right now. Which really sucks because this is not a cord that I want stuck. There we go. All right, so it comes with a adapter, a USB to HDMI adapter. Maybe it's in here or not because I kind of have things everywhere right now. Um, like I said, I moved everything around, but it does come with an adapter to plug in a USB to the HDMI so I can plug in my hard drive and then any videos, any collages, stuff like that, I can drop onto this, plug it into here, and then cast it through the projector. All right, that is all we have for today, you guys. I will be back probably tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'll probably do a get ready with me. Um, I got some new makeup that I want to show you guys. And yeah, I also, I'm super excited. I have an upcoming stream. I am streaming Ziagu's. It's a clothing line on here that I really, really like. I actually just uploaded their jacket in the deals group, but I am going to be doing like a whole live stream of their clothing. And I'm super excited for that. If you hit follow, you'll get a notification when I do that, whenever I go live. And yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Michelle, thank you so much for hanging out. You are the best to talk to on here, especially during those get ready with me. I mean, you're great every single time, but um, I don't usually get to talk to anyone when I get ready. So, <laughs> 
Yes, you too. You've been treating yourself. Oh my gosh. I went makeup shopping with a friend yesterday and I bought this new contour. I'm wearing it right now. It's a little bit, mm, didn't blend it in very good. I'm seeing that now that I'm in front of a camera, but I do like it. Um, I also just got, have you ever heard of, I think it's the brand is The Ordinary or like Ordinary. It's a face peel. You noticed it. You know, you noticed the lack of blending. Um, thank you. Uh, I actually, I kind of almost intentionally do that. Like, you know, leave a really white underneath. Okay, yeah, so I got the, <laughs> the, um, peeling one. And it, okay, it's weird to me when things say that they're a peeling mask, but my skin doesn't peel afterwards. Or, like, have you ever seen face moisturizers that say it's a exfoliating moisturizer I always think what do you mean it's gonna make my skin exfoliate like while I'm trying to moisturize but either way it said it was like a peeling mask and nothing has peeled on my face yet but my skin felt so much better after and it was like 10 bucks maybe 12 but totally worth it I had to watch like six tiktok videos before using it so I would do it the right way, but worth it. I love that. I'm fair. Hard to find the right color. Thank you. It is hard to find. I'm, I'm, I might not look as pale as I am right now because I take my bronzer brush and I just go hard on my face with it, but it is really hard to find a color that's not too muddy and isn't too warm. I really like this. Um, this one that I got though, it is I think it's e.l.f. brand. Yeah, like E.L.F. I think it was like 10 to $12. And yeah, I'm going to bring it in the next Makeup Live because it is really good. It just doesn't blend as good as cream does. It's a liquid contour. But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what I bought. All right, I will see you guys later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, yeah, and thanks for hanging out.